Welcome back to another video. So, today as you can probably tell, um, I'm wearing my vintage scout uniform. Uh, some of you probably might not know I actually have one of these. I showed off a lot on my second channel, which if you know what my second channel is, congrats I guess. Um, and recently, actually today, uh, somebody gave me this cool belt here. Um, because everybody in my troop kind of knows that I have this special vintage uniform and uh they all kind of like to to poke around at it and so you know recently somebody helped me finish my set of vintage drink patches by giving me scout uh second class or no sorry not scout that was for a rank in the 60s tenderfoot second class now i have first class and they also give me star uh so now i need eagle i like an eagle sorry but, anyways, enough about that. This cool belt was given to me today by somebody, my assistant senior patroller, who gave it to me. He got back from an OA event recently and wanted to help me out. So I want to show something off. Um, here's another vintage belt. This is a vintage Cub Scout belt. Um, you can see that. Uh, and then another one I have... This one actually has quite a lot of adventure loops. You know what? This might have actually been my Cub Scout belt when I was a Cub Scout. Um, so yeah, I have a couple vintage belts, but this one's the only vintage Boy Scout belt I actually have. There is no more Cub Scout. Um, so, it occurred to me that the buckle on this is a little weird, and I kind of wanted to make a video on that. So I guess we're going to do that. Um, if you can see, it's kind of weird. Now it is, um, if you look at it, you're going to see a little kind of dot, or a divot thing. Okay. If you see that here, there's this the bar, this rod, sorry about my long fingernail. I got to cut that, I know it's gross. So the, you see this bar down in here? Um, and then the belt. So how are you going to work this? I'm just going to pop this thing completely off. Okay, so you can see, here's the belt. Obviously, you run it through your loops like you would normally. And then you want to take this and feed this through. So, this bar here, there's a little notch as well in there. Bar, notch. Move the bar back into the notch. Okay, so now we have that. Bars in the notch. Take the belt, rest of the flap. Slide that through the belt. And yeah, I think they still make these kind of buckles for um, Cub Scouts. So this is still kind of relevant. Um, and yeah, they, like I said, I was looking for my other buckles. Because I actually have quite a few of these from when I was a Cub Scout. Peep, I, mean, I just found like a box of them. So I have like five or six of these different kinds of belt buckles from Cub Scouts that are all, you know, shiny and new as of, like, five years ago or something. But, yeah. Point being, these are still kind of in use. Now that bar you see there, slide that bar up. Okay. So just take it out of that notch and slide it up. And that'll hold it in place. Like that. So recap, slide the bar into the notch, push the belt through, pull, slide the bar up, and pull it to the side. That is how it works. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.